Hey everyone, The Beard Baron here today with episode 37 of Ask The Beard Baron. And that's me, where I take your questions from around the internet and I answer them right here. So drop a comment or question down below with your beard or mustache question, add to the list or reach out to me on social media, all links are there as well. Or hit me up with an email at thebeardbaron.com. But right now, let's get into it. Michael Hamilton from YouTube writes, Hi John, have you ever used an electric trimmer on your beard? or do you only recommend scissors? Well, Michael, this is a great question because I have used electric trimmers. I do not recommend it because a lot can go wrong and when it goes wrong, it goes wrong very quick with electric trimmers. Uh, there's a key spots, I use them every once in a very great while. I usually stay away from electric trimmers and use only scissors. Scissors is a lot more control, it's a lot slower. I understand guys who are trimming their beard, they wanna get going. Uh, electric trimmers are much faster, but that comes with the inherent risk of doing more damage more quickly. There's only one spot that I really like to use electric trimmers, and that's on my sidelines right here. I just kind of line it up every once in a great while. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan. I don't recommend using it. Um, maybe I'll do a video in the future about me actually lining up my beard with uh, trimmers and even shaping my beard with trimmers, which is probably the most risky uh, move. Uh, if you've ever seen a guy do it, it's kind of cringeworthy because uh, taking a trimmer to a long beard and just trying to almost like shaping it like a topiary, like a boxwood hedge outside trying to make an elephant out of a, you know, a bush. Uh, when you just have a good old trimmer going at the length, uh, it's really unnerving. Uh, but I could show you guys how I do it and recommend not to not how to do it and hopefully I you know, walk away with my beard at the end. But uh, I highly recommend using scissors when trimming your beard, especially when you've got a lot of length going on. Obviously, if you have a shorter beard and you're using a guard to you know, take off length, that's perfectly fine. But when it comes to doing anything kind of lining up wise or shaping wise, especially, I highly recommend using scissors and not electric trimmers. Rig from YouTube writes, if you're taking showers at night, when, what time are you applying beard oil? So I know my beard routine gets brought up a lot and I answer a lot of questions about when I do, what I do and how I do it. So for me, my beard routine always revolves around my showers and usually my showers take place later in the day. So for example, if I take a shower at night before bed, I will apply beard oil right after my shower to a damp beard. Obviously I pat, towel dry it after my shower and then apply oil to it. I go to sleep, I get up the next morning. Now the next morning, if I feel like I need some more control, I will apply either balm, butter or wax to my beard then. I have a nicely oiled beard from the night before that I fully oiled Next morning, if I need control product, I will apply that control product then. So to answer your question, if I shower at night, I'm applying beard oil at night after my shower. Dan P from YouTube writes, the beard balm I use has coconut oil. Heard it clogs pores. Do you apply balm like you apply beard oil? Well, Dan, I've got plenty of videos on here of how to apply a beard balm like a boss. Now, that video was probably three or four years old, but I've been doing a lot of beard routines recently. I'll do a beard routine next week. I'll be using the Foss Premium Beard Balm uh, private stock and I apply it just like I apply oil. That means I apply it with my fingers, work it in there, I comb down, comb up and out, and then comb down back again to set it in place. Simple as that, I don't go overboard with anything kind of wild, no heat, uh, just a comb, no brush, and it's just the same exact way I apply beard oil. Like I said, I'll do a video next week on that. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. As always guys, it's great jumping on here, answering your questions. So like I said in the beginning, keep them coming. Make sure you subscribe, like, share these videos if you'd like. I'd really appreciate that, guys. And always reach out to me just to say hello. Uh, you know where to find me, thebeardbaron.com for all your premium beard care and mustache care needs. Like I said, hopefully your November is going fantastic. Beards are going strong. I'll talk to you guys soon. But until then, take care.